Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Zola. Uh, one of the if you've never heard of Zola, is she's a girl who had one of the craziest uh, Twitter threads I've ever read in my life. Now I read the Twitter thread before I even knew there was a movie coming out. It was crazy. Like the events that go down are just like mind boggling like I, within a 48 hour span so many things happen it's basically a waitress from detroit meets this girl this white chick who uh, is a black girl uh that's a wait waitress meets this white chick who's a stripper she said hey let's go down to florida to my friend's club we can make some real money they knew each other a day zola agrees to go not knowing that she's tagging along with uh stephanie who's the white girl, her boyfriend, and her pimp. So Zola is put into a situation in which she was not prepared for, and so many different things happened and, and, and occurred during this 48 hours that pretty much blows her mind. Now, one thing I have to say I enjoyed about this is, like, the filmmaking. Like, uh, ja, Janique Z Bravo, I think that's the name. Jan uh... It's a Janitza. Uh, bro, she directed the hell out of this movie. It kind of gave me like a mid 90s vibe. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, 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 824. Like, you really like in it. Like, the scenery, the shot, all, all of it is shot beautifully. I love how it looks. I love uh, 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 how they decided to make the, 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 the picture look. Everything about it, I enjoyed that a whole bunch. And I enjoyed the story because I knew what the story was. Now, the only thing about it is like the story doesn't necessarily feel as raw as I would have wanted to. And trust me, but it still, it's, it doesn't pull back except for one scene. One scene, they pulled back and did something different. It, it, was, uh, it was a scene where something was supposed to happen in front of another person, but it didn't. Uh, not the way uh, it was in the tweet. So I was just kind of like, all right, bet. Uh, and I'm watching, I'm just like, all right, this is really good. Like, but where's that? I needed it to feel a little bit more ratchet. If I guess that's, I guess, because like the tweets are pretty ratchet and pretty, pretty crazy. But like, and that is exactly what the movie is. The, the movie is definitely crazy. Yet, you don't necessarily, feel, it doesn't feel wild. It just kind of feel like, oh my God, like, wait a minute. And I know I don't know if that's because the, the star character uh, uh, Zola played by uh, Taylor Page, she plays this cool, calm chick who just like down to earth and like not for no not for no game. And like she like you know, of course she'll turn over, but like she's very she's very composed and like she doesn't get too crazy because obviously these are people she don't know. And so that's the part that I think when you read a tweet, you don't necessarily feel that. But in the film, it's just like, no, this is how it was. I, I wasn't like, wild. I was just more or less like, damn, this is crazy. What is going on? Like, that's pretty much, she, she was just like, you know, it felt like she was in a uh, 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 in disbelief most of the time. When most of these events are going down. It was like, uh, Coleman Domingo plays the pimp. And he does a fantastic job. We have Nicholas Braun who plays Derek, the boyfriend. And if you're just watching him, you just like, dude, what, what are you doing, bro? Like, everybody, I think, plays their parts to the T. There are other, there's some unexpected people that show up in this that I, uh, uh, that I, I was surprised by. And I, I enjoyed them being there. I'm going to give that away. But overall, Zola does what it needs to do. And, and it's uh, boosted by the, the the terrific directing yet it doesn't necessarily give you that feeling <clears throat> i think that the tweets put in your mind of how these events occurred they do it they go by what the tweets say and what happens yet it doesn't you still don't get i don't feel like you transport into that world necessarily that's probably what it is. I don't. I feel like the film is good as a film, yet it doesn't transport you into that that crazy world. Like you don't really feel like you're in there with them. You just feel like you're just 
you know what I'm saying, kind of watching the movie or some stuff going down. So, uh, I'm going to have to give it a C plus. Uh, I think my expectations were too high. Uh, but this is also not something I wouldn't tell people. I definitely tell people. I'm recommending people to go check it out, especially uh, if you haven't read the, if you haven't seen the tweets. If you've seen the tweets, go in a little tethered, but overall, still think it's a good job and uh, some great performances and, and phenomenal directing uh, in this film. So yeah, um, that's it. <laughs> if you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it. Down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe and I catch up with you guys later. Peace.